It is almost back to school time as I record this video. Now, it may be November or May or June by the time you're watching this, but nevertheless, it'll be three great tips for students. So if you are using OneNote in a classroom setting, then these three tips will help you take better notes. And if you're not using it in a classroom setting, these will still give you a leg up when you're working with OneNote. Now, the first one I want to pass along is this one. It is the use of tags to quickly find stuff that is in your notebooks. So as you're using your notebooks over the course of a semester or a quarter, then those notebooks will quickly fill up with stuff. So you can use tags to quickly pinpoint those important pieces of information that lives in your notebooks. So let me give you an example here, and I'll start with the Universal Windows Platform version of OneNote. This is the free version that's available on Windows 10. It's available for download on the OS X side of things, and it's the one that you'll be using if you're using this on an iPad or an iPhone or an Android device. So now you have a note and you want to mark it with some kind of a tag. So from the Universal Windows Platform version, the free version, you'll go to the Home tab, and then you'll use this drop down right here, tag this note. So it could be a to-do item, it could be something that's important, it could be a question. You can also create your own tags and create customized tags. So here I'll just click on Important, and we'll say that this first item in this uh, list of, of things, this list of tips, is the important one. We'll do some other tags here. We'll go over here to this other uh, notebook page that I have and I'll do the same thing in the drop down. I'll mark that one as important as well. Now to find those tags that you've added in your notebook, what you'll do is you'll go over to the left hand side here and you'll click on this search icon right here to show the search dialog. So this brings up this. It'll show recent searches. It'll show existing tags that you have searched for previously. Now, in this case here, I've previously done an, a search on IMP, and these are wildcard searches. So even if the tag doesn't show, which it's not here, you can still type in IMP, and then you should see the tags important show up, but these are wildcard searches. So if I just hit enter here, then you'll see that the pages and the tags, both of these things show up because I've got tagged pieces of notes. I've got tagged uh, lines or paragraphs that are showing up in this search results. Change the default font and tags to quickly find stuff that's in your notebooks. Now, if you're using the Office 2016 edition, so if you have an Office 365 subscription and you might with your school, you might be using this. And if you're in a work setting, you might also be using this. But this version, by the way, is the one that Microsoft is no longer updating. They're going to continue to develop using the Universal Windows Platform, the cross-platform version of OneNote. But that doesn't mean that OneNote in the 2016 version is still not very powerful and it has almost the exact same features. It's just some of the features are in different places. Now, something that's interesting and a little bit quirky about the Office 2016 edition of OneNote is that you might be tempted to come up here in the search and search for tags, but that's not exactly how it works. What you do instead is that you use the home tab of the ribbon and then in this tag sections you can't find tags and so that brings up a tags summary here and what's interesting here is that you can group tags by tag name or section so if you want to look for certain sections and then tags within that certain section so you have a lot of options when you are doing the uh, tag summary or working with the tag summary panel here. You can also refine your search to all notebooks or certain sections or section groups. And then you can also create a summary page. So if you had a bunch of to-do items in your notebook and then you want to create a summary of all those to-do items, maybe study items for a test, then you can create a to-do item on the fly or a summary page on the fly. And that summary page is now just going to be added to the pages of notes that are already existing in the section. So just add this other page. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that, give it a right click and click on delete and go back over to the Universal Windows platform, the Windows 10 version of OneNote. Now, when you're using tags to flag specific items in your notebook, you may find that it, you use too many tags and the tags become, they lose some of their meaning when it gets just overwhelming number of tags in your notebook. So remember that you can do a search and then you can go back up here and 
click again to remove a tag, but the better keyboard shortcut to memorize is control zero. So if you control zero on your keyboard, that's just a quick way to remove a tag. And that way you keep the tags from cluttering up your notebook. So with that, let's go on to the second item that's especially good for educational settings, and that is this. You can share for group projects or for the ability to trade lecture notes between you and your sorority sisters, your fraternity brothers, your friends on campus, whatever the case may be. So you can share for situations like this. And you do that by just remembering to click on that button right there in the upper right hand side. So once you give that a click, you'll see all of the share options that you have. The other thing to keep in mind is that you do have some ability to share with anyone who has the links with specific people. And then you can also set an expiration date and say like, I don't want it to be shared out for more than a week. So you can automatically rescind the sharing of a page of notes if you want to by clicking on that item right there. You can also send a copy of the page. So you can just directly through your mail application send a copy of this. Once you've done this, and I'll cancel out of this, the other thing to keep in mind about this interface is that under more options, you can manage access. So here's where you would go to revoke access to a page that you have previously shared out. So pretty easy to do. If you're using the Office 365 version, all of this is done through the backstage view. So you go to the file menu and you can send a copy of the notebook. You can export as well. And then of course there is share. So this is the most equivalent to the sharing options that you find on the free Windows 10 version of OneNote. So share with people, get a sharing link. So there's the link. If you have that link, you can have access to this sandbox environment. The other thing you can do, and this is something that will work across both platforms, is that you can either print to a PDF or export to a PDF fairly quickly. So you can export a page as a PDF. If you are on the Windows 10 platform, then what you do is you click on the buttons up here on the upper right hand side, the ellipsis, settings and more, and you print. And then you just click on the drop down here and choose print to a PDF and everyone should have that enabled. You should be able to scroll and print to a PDF. Microsoft print to PDF should be installed on everyone's. And if you're using it on the window or on the Macintosh side, then you would use this. So now let's look at the third item that students might find particularly helpful. And it is the ability to organize stuff with section groups. Plus this is the one weird trick. Yes, I'm going there. I'll show you the one weird trick that has to do with how to keep your section groups alphabetized if you want to do that. So to show you how this works, let's go over to a couple of sections that I have, which is unit one, which is Socrates in college in this hypothetical class I'm taking. And unit two is Socrates and YouTube. How did that get there? If you want more tips like these, go ahead and subscribe. You can do it now, you can do it at the end of the video. You could have done it at the beginning of the video, but I post regularly about the apps that you use every day, one of those being OneNote. In any event, you've got two units from a class you're taking. Now I can create a new section group. If I right click, I can create a new section group. When I do, it'll look like this. So nothing's here yet. You can easily drag and drop to reorganize. And that's how I put unit one in the Socratic Philosophy 101 class that I am taking. So that's one way of doing it. And by the way, it was cloudy when I started this video. It's not cloudy anymore. The sun is blasting through the windows. Won't really change the content though. So that's one way. The other way is you can right click on any section and you can move or copy that section. So I'll just click to move it and there we go. So now I've got two things here, two units in this unit group, Socratic Philosophy 101. Now, the individual sections are easy, and this is the one weird trick. These are easy to rearrange. I can drag and drop these around and change the order, and they do not, does not matter if they're alphabetized or not. With the section groups, it does matter. So if you are having, if you're using section groups, and you want one of them to appear at the top of the list, if you want it to appear out of alphabetical order, you have to kind of fool Microsoft or fool OneNote into thinking that this is, is spelled differently than it is. So 
The one weird trick is this. If you rename the section group and you put an underscore at the beginning and then hit enter, now you can rearrange. Now obviously that doesn't work if everything has an underscore, so you just use that selectively to move some of your section groups to the top of the list of section groups. If you are trying this same technique on the Office 365 version, it's gonna look similar, but rather than reading from top to bottom, this kind of reading so that your, your information in the application is arranged left to right, uh, it's a little bit different. It's arranged across the top here. So let's put away the tag summary here. Here are my section groups. I've got one, Brian's Journal, and then I've got one, Socratic Philosophy. If I rename and put an underscore, then it just moves it to the left side. It doesn't rearrange it here. These are individual sections. These are the section groups. So that's it. Those are the three items that will help you if you are a student and taking notes using OneNote. You use tags to quickly find stuff, share your notes with other classmates, and organize with section groups. Use those three tips, and you should be well on your way to probably getting straight A's in all of your classes. Go ahead and like and subscribe if you want to find out more tips like these, as I mentioned earlier. Thanks for watching. See you next time.